Business leaders and intellectual business community, we come to the last segment of our discussion today. It, uh, that is the leadership in a permanent crisis, which is taken from Harvard Business Review, July and August 2009. And still with us, Mr. Paulo Suranto, the CEO of Indobuana Autoraya, the sole distributor of Volvo cars in Indonesia. But Paulo, uh, we talk about uh, many things about your problems, about the companies and what you have done for the companies. Up to now, if you, if you see the conditions of the company, let's say if we are talking about crisis, sounds like us, like a patient in the ICU. Yeah. Every day they have a risk of whether they survive today or they will die. Yeah. Now, are you seeing that the company can get out of the ICU or uh, it takes, uh, well, we, we will see the, the, the company getting out of the ICU within a uh, short time, or you think that this patient should be in ICU uh, for, you know, the time that we cannot see how long will it be? What do you think? It is paying off. Sorry? It is paying off. Paying off? Yes. So? So it's, uh, it's, it's out of the ICU anymore. It's out of the ICU completely now. It's out of the ICU completely. You mean that the company is now uh, making profits, yes. uh, going on uh, he- uh, very healthy healthily. Yeah, since when? Uh, 2008. Since 2008? Yes. Since 2008, it becomes uh, profitable uh, and... Uh, healthy. Healthy. So the operational restructuring has been done? Yes. All right. So... Uh, Pak Gunadi, you want to have a question? Ya, yeah, uh, kelihatannya Pak Paulus uh, selama ini kan secara terus-menerus melakukan suatu re-engineering Pak ya, atau restructuring. Jadi kalau dilihat kan uh, selama ini kan lebih banyak fokusnya kepada operation uh, strategy. Ya. Pengurangan jumlah karyawan, uh, barangkali juga mungkin uh, yang aset yang tidak produktif barangkali masih dikurangi yes, dan sebagainya dan sebagainya ya Pak ya uh, mungkin pertanyaan saya ini uh, apakah Bapak juga pikirkan uh, ada strategi lain seperti marketing strategi ya dan juga apakah ada support dari prinsipal sehingga apa yang Bapak lakukan ini akan lebih berhasil lagi terima kasih thank you so Pak Paulus, we are talking about the, the patient is now out of ICU, yes. survive. Yeah. But after a long time of crisis, maybe uh, the patient is thin, yeah. very thin. Now time to, you know, to make this patient becomes, you know, fatter, uh, becomes uh, healthier. And maybe it's time for you to think about the marketing side rather than operational side. Operational side has been done well and survived and then now how to make this patient becomes uh, healthier and you know gaining gaining some weights uh, that was the question of Pak Bunardi and what do you plan what is the, the strategy I mean we can also uh, treat this marketing as another crisis the crisis of operation has been done yeah now the the marketing crisis why we stay with these numbers? Is there anything that we can get out of the box of 120? What do you think? Uh, we can. The, pot- the potential is there. Uh, mostly, we, it's, the, it's the product. We have to get a right product for this market. Uh-huh. And um, secondly, if it, we, uh, the operation uh, restructuring is not enough. Uh-huh. Is, is, is completely not enough. We have to do also marketing restructuring right. and marketing restructuring starts with product. Uh-huh. The right product for this market, uh-huh. the right price also. Uh-huh. And that is what I have been doing since uh, the first time. Uh-huh. Um, and hopefully it will be realized very soon. Uh-huh. Now they understand um, that they need to, to do something more uh, for this for this uh, country for th- for this uh, market uh-huh. so i mean they is uh, the, the principle yeah. can you tell us a little bit what will be the actions uh more support and uh, mostly on the pricing also uh-huh. yeah 
and um, promotional support also uh-huh. and basically that and what uh, for example like this yeah if i want to take a certain model before we we have to take it in a batch we cannot take it one by one uh-huh. so if i want to order s80 i cannot just order one s80 i have to order at least 24 mm-hmm. at least and i have to fix that six months ahead mm-hmm. so after i fix the order there is mm-hmm. no way i mm-hmm. can cancel it mm-hmm. or i can change mm-hmm. it so i have to take everything now they understand that and uh, we are allowed to to order one unit even one unit because now they really understand about the situation of this market that's why we in return we gave to the customers the luxury of choosing their own car mm-hmm. we have this uh, car configurator mm-hmm. whereby the customers can choose can mm-hmm. select whatever features that that uh, this customer wants to be put in in the car mm-hmm. and then we order to sweden yes mm-hmm. there is a little bit of uh, additional time of mm-hmm. course but that is under understood very well mm-hmm. by the customers because of this uh, situation so mm-hmm. we we really have to to do uh, uh if you like a consultative selling there is there is number one and number two uh within the organization everybody can sell a car mm-hmm. it's it's not only the salesperson it's not right. only the marketing person even the mechanic can sell a car and will get the same benefit as the salesperson okay that's uh, another uh, policy that i i i take and i implement it uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. Uh-huh. this so hopefully it will get better mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and 44 has produced very very good models mm-hmm. and 44 has been a very good car also mm-hmm. it's just not uh really perfect for this market mm-hmm. at the time in the in the terms of generating leadership do you think that uh, by this process you create more leaders or by this process because it's uh, emergency often that people in the emergency that say that uh, because sorry because it is emergency i have to take decisions by myself and because we need to uh, make to make uh, you know quick decisions that i don't have time too much to consult with you then trust me i will make the best decision for you so uh, sometimes in a crisis you don't have time to you know to foster leadership to foster uh, your subordinates to become able to make decisions So do you think that uh, by this process you uh lack the time to create a leadership and now you want to recover it or you think that through the process you create more leaders